Hi everyone, I'm Mata from the Developer Experience team here in Memgraph, and today I'm going to guide you to the process of setting up Jupyter One's security analysis tool Starbase with Memgraph. As I already mentioned, Starbase is Jupyter One's graph-based security analysis tool that can collect assets and relationships from services and systems of your choice. The way it works is that Jupyter One has already over 115 open source graph integrations, and you can choose an integration of your liking, whether it's Bitbucket, GitHub, Google Cloud, or more. After you choose an integration, you can connect it to your Starbase and let it ingest your data, analyze it, and give you a graph view of your data. Today, we're going to explore the example of Zoom application. We're going to connect your Zoom application to Starbase. We're going to let it ingest data, analyze it, and give you a intuitive graph view. Currently, Jupyter One Starbase is backed by Neo4j database. But today, we're going to show you how to back it up with MemGraph by only changing two lines of Starbase's code. In order to back up your data with MemGraph and import it in the MemGraph database, we first need to have a MemGraph uh, running MemGraph instance. You can run MemGraph instances in multiple ways, but today I'm going to show you the easiest one, which is running MemGraph with Docker. If you wish to follow along, just make sure you have installed Docker and that it's running in the background. So we're going to uh, use the Docker run command and we're going to expose ports 3000 that MemGraph Lab uses for the visualization part and you can access it in your local uh, host 3000 in your browser. Then we're going to expose ports that MemGraph database lessons at and also a port for uh, gaining access to MemGraph logs. We're going to name our uh, instance, whatever name you'd like it, and we're going to run the latest MemGraph platform image. MemGraph platform image includes MemGraph database, uh, Mage, which is MemGraph's library with all the algorithms, uh, MemGraph lab that uses for the visualization part, and MG console for the terminal interface. Now we see that we are running MemGraph version 2.11, and uh, we have a lab running at localhost 3000 in platform mode. What that means is if you go to the localhost 3000, you're going to be able to see our MemGraph lab. Now that we have MemGraph up and running, next thing we have to do is to set up the Starbase repository. So first of all, we're going to clone the repository in whichever directory you would like. Uh, right here, you can see that in this terminal, we have MemGraph running, so I'm just going to open another terminal and clone, direct, uh, clone the repository in whichever directory you, you want it to be. Now that our repository has been cloned, I'm just going to place myself in Starbase directory, and I have to run a uh, yarn command in order to install all of the dependencies needed for the project. Before this step, make sure you have installed yarn and the Node.js in order to progress with the project. But this is going to take some time, so I'm just going to fast forward it. Now that our dependencies have been installed, the next thing we want to do is to actually set up our Zoom integration. So we're going to do that by creating a Zoom app and configuring the configuration file in our Starbase repository. So what you want to do is to go to the Zoom app marketplace and uh, make sure you're signed into your account. And at the top right corner, you're going to see the develop a button and you can click on the build app and you're going to choose the app type that building an app that accesses user authenticated data and click on create. You can name your Zoom app. I'm going to name it Zoom test. I actually have one set up, so I'm not going to create it, but all you have to do is choose the app type that can remain the default settings and create an app. After you have created your app, you should be able to see app credentials. So that will be the account ID, client ID, and client secret. Make sure to take note of those since we're going to need those to set up our configuration file I'm going to show you later on. And also in the scopes session, you have to set up some uh, certain roles. There will be the account group role and user read admin access. Everything else can remain as the default. 
After setting up our Zoom application, the next step is to open your Starbase repository in your editor of choice. And you can see here that we have all of the code base along with the configuration.yaml example file. We have to create our own configuration YAML file, but this helps as the base start to set up our integration and our storage. So we're just going to create a new file called config.yaml file, and we're going to paste the content here. But we have to adjust certain parameters. We are creating Zoom applications, so we're just going to adjust a few of these directories, as well as the git remote URL. And uh, we don't need a second example, so we are given two examples here for the integration, but we're going to delete the second one. And we're going to adjust the parameters or variables that we need. So as mentioned, we need account ID variable, we need the client ID, and the client secret. I'm going to leave these empty for now because you need to adjust uh, them based on your variables. I'm going to insert my variables before we set up our, the rest of our project. So here we have a storage uh, options. So we're going to leave those since we, uh, since MemGraph is compatible with Neo4j, the name of the engine can remain the same. Uh, MemGraph and Neo4j both use Bolt protocol in order to communicate with the database. So we're just going to adjust the database name. And if you have your username and password set, you can uh, insert those. If not, you can just delete those variables. So that's it. Our configuration file is now set. It should be able to connect to our Zoom application based on the credentials you provided it. I'm going to insert those now. And the next step is to run the yarn starbase setup command. I have adjusted my variables and I've put in the proper, uh, 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 proper account ID, client ID, and client secret. And now we have to run the Yarn Starbase setup in order for it to set up our application with our Zoom uh, app. So I'm just going to clear out my terminal and run Yarn Starbase setup command. After running our Yarn Starbase setup command, we actually ran into an error, and that is that we have some missing property called scopes in our configuration file. And that's because our Zoom app requires that field as well to set up uh, permissions to ex gain access to our Zoom app. So that will be the scopes field in the config variables. And I'm just going to copy paste the values I was mentioning when building the app. So we have account, group, role, and user read admin permissions, and that has to be listed right here in the scopes variable. Uh, I have removed my uh, IDs, uh, and I'm just going to paste those back and run the Starbase command again. I have pasted my IDs, and I'm going to run yarn Starbase setup command again and see if this time we have everything set up properly. Our command has run successfully this time, and we now have a connected Zoom app with our Starbase repository. The only thing left to do in order for this to work with MemGraph is to change only one line of code and adjust a Cypher query that will work with MemGraph as well. So if you go in the node modules folder that was created after running a Yarn Starbase setup command, you can see under node modules, Jupyter1, integration, SDK, CLI, this and source Neo4j folder, you'll be able to see a Neo4j graphstore.js file. And in that file, under add entities function, we have a basic cipher command that creates indices in Neo4j. And even though MemGraph and Neo4j are compatible, there is still some differences when running certain operations one of them being the create index uh, cipher command. So we just have to replace this line of code. If we uh, check it out, we can see that it's create indices, if not exist, for certain label on two properties. And the way this is done in MemGraph is that we need to split those properties and create uh, run two cipher commands that create indices on each property on their own. So we have on one labeled property and other label and their property. I mean the same label. So we're just going to delete this first command and split it up into sections. Save this file and now we have everything set up to work with MemGraph. 
Now that we made our code compatible with MemGraph, only thing we have to do is to actually run Starbase and let it ingest the data from the Zoom app and import it to MemGraph where we can visualize it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out my repository, the terminal, sorry, and run yarn Starbase run command. After running our service run command, we can see that our application has successfully connected. It has pulled all, pulled all, the, all of the data that we have in our Zoom app and imported it to Mangrove successfully. So if you go to localhost 3000 or the desktop version of your Mangrove lab, you should be able to see uh, that uh, we have created two nodes, one relationship and four indexes. The reason that the data set is so small is because I use my personal Zoom app and I don't have much info there. But if you have any other integration uh, and you'll be able to visualize a much larger scale of data. So here I prepared a query that will return everything that we have in our database to actually see what was happening. So after running this query, we can see that we have only two nodes as mentioned and that my account only has one user, which is me. So if you were to go to the graph schema and generate it, you can see that what the structure of your data in the, the graph database is. So we have two nodes, one with the labels account and Zoom account, and the other one with labels user and Zoom user. If you click on any of the nodes, you'll be able to see all of the properties that are available in the node. For instance, for the account, we have display name, ID, name, status, and others. And more interestingly, for the users, you'll be able to get their name, ID, where was the user created, their email, email notifications, all of the meeting related stuff, and as well as the recording stuff. So you'll be able to get value from that. If you have larger scale data, you just want to filter out based on the, some property you have. You want to maybe run some algorithms on your data set you will be, that will be able after importing your data to MemGraph. Since we've ran the MemGraph platform image, which I mentioned that it includes Mage library. Mage library is MemGraph's algorithm library. So after that, you'll gain access to all of the algorithms MemGraph already has. And you'll be able to run some of that algorithms on your data set. For instance, run a community detection algorithm or anything you'll be able to get a value from. That is pretty much it. Uh, we've covered all of the basis of Starbase. We have created our Zoom application, connected our integration to Starbase, tweaked the code a little bit to make it work with MemGraph. We have imported the data in MemGraph and we have been able to visualize it. I hope you have a larger scale data than I do and that, will be, that you'll be able to play with it more. If you don't, there are some predetermined data sets that you can import uh, directly from MemGraph Lab and uh, really explore MemGraph. You can run your query modules on the data or just explore all of the possibilities MemGraph has to offer. If you have any further questions or some of this was unclear to you, feel free to contact us on Discord. We are more than happy to help. Thank you so much for staying tuned and hope to see you on this court. Bye-bye.